Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a painting of the female torso and it's going to be a study. And if you need help drawing the female face, I did this book right here. It's called The Lost Art, How to Draw Fantasy Female Faces. And I also did this book right here called The Lost Art of How to Draw Fantasy Female, How to Draw Fantasy Females. And it basically shows you how to draw the female uh, figure. It's very simple, it's for, basically it's for beginners. And this is the, the drawing of the, of the actual painting that I'm gonna do. And like I said, I have already started uh, on the face. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish the, the torso area. And it's like a side view of the torso. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna be doing this study on, um, canvas paper. It's this canvas paper right here. And you can use it for oil or acrylic. And it is a paper, but it's very thick. It's about 130 pound paper. And like I said, this is just going to be a study. And for the skin tone, I'm going to be using this color that I purchased. It's called uh, Terra Rosa. And it's, um, it's very close to the to a, like a lighter skin color. I would say because I've been using um, this other one called um, Burnt Sienna for the skin. But this one, it's a little bit more orangey, I would say. So this one, I really like it. It's really cool. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to outline the parts that I have already drawn. I go back. I draw it out and then I go back and sketch it out in ink and I just have a the basic it's just a basic outline of the drawing that I'm going to do. So I'm taking this Terra Rosa color and I'm just going to outline the whole thing and I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can so it might not be real perfect. Normally I would um, try to take a little bit more time doing this. Try to be a little bit more careful. Like I said, just take your time when you're doing this and go in and right up to the line. Paint it right up to the line. But for this demonstration, I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can. And I'm going to like I said, I'm outlining the area on my area and I'm using the drawing that I got over here. I have it off to my side. I'm using that as my, my guide as to how, how I'm going to do this. Now, one of the other things that, uh, that I did here in this painting is the very first thing that I painted was the hair because the hair since it's going to be a, since it's a darker color, it's a darker brown. I always try to paint the hair first. That way I know it sort of serves as a guide as to how dark I need to go into the shadow area. How, um, yeah, how pronounced I need to have the, the shadows be. Otherwise, if you don't, if you start painting the, the figure first, the torso, without any other color reference, what you'll find is that you didn't paint it dark enough or the color isn't quite, it might be, usually what it happens is that the color is way too light. So you'll have to go in and darken it or it just won't look right. So I would suggest that you paint the hair first, then you can use that as a as a guide for your colors. And I'm only using one color here for the skin. Well, I'm gonna use two colors, but mainly for the skin. I'm gonna try to do this as uh, easily as I can because I'm doing this tutorial for beginning art, people who are beginning painters. And I know it can be very, um, 
It can be very intimidating to start painting in oil, in oil paint. So my philosophy is that when you're starting to paint in oil paints, try to keep it as simple as possible. Try to maybe just use like for the skin tone. I know a lot of people will mix in several different browns and blue and all this uh, to try and get skin tone and all of that. I just keep try to keep it as simple as possible just using like basic just use the basic skin tone and then just darken it with a darker brown and then lighten it lighten the skin tone with white so basically that's what i do i'll i'll buy the the color that matches the skin tone that i want to use and then i i use that instead of having a palette with all these different colors and then I'm mixing in there. Some people put yellow ochre, all kinds of different colors that they use. And that's okay, you know, yeah, you can do that, but keep in mind that that's for more advanced painters, very advanced painters, I would say, that mix their own skin tones. So as a beginner, try to Keep yourself as simple as possible because if you don't, you can uh, get frustrated and just, you might just want to quit altogether right there if your painting doesn't come out right. And like I said, this is, this is my practice session, basically, because I, I love to do these little practice paintings and then before I go and do a, a large uh, painting on a on a full uh, canvas. Now when you're doing the the hand area it's very very um, meticulous that you have to work here. So I think I'm going to just concentrate on the actual torso for now and then I'll probably come back and do the the actual hands later because with the actual hands you do have to really practice doing just the just the hands and nothing else. Just like when you do the face, I suggest that you practice just doing faces for a while before you decide that you're gonna do a whole, a whole uh, large scale painting. So yeah, right here I'm just gonna, I'm gonna concentrate on the torso and we almost, I almost have it all outlined. And basically I'm using for this, I'm using as little, uh, very little paint, just dabbing it on burly. I know some people like to paint with big gobs of paint. Um, and that's fine if that's the style that you want to do, but uh, I'm doing this for the beginning artist. So I really recommend this. Just try to use a little bit of paint, go very light on your paint until you get comfortable with it, until you decide what it is that you want to be uh, doing. Okay, and that's the basic side, the basic side of the uh, torso right there. As you can see right here, I'm just spreading the paint very, very lightly because this area is going to be a lighter shadow. So I'm just going to do this very lightly. Almost, it's almost like I'm doing a rough sketch, really, with paint before I get in here and and really, really um, even it out. Okay, now I got all that done. Okay, now I'm wiping off the excess paint from the brush. to get all that excess color but it doesn't have to come out completely just as long as it's good now i'm going to switch and lighten it up with uh my white paint and this is um titanium white that i'm going to use and when you're using this uh so you mix it in there and the paint that's already on your brush We'll mix in there, mix in with this paint and make it very like a light rose color, which is perfect for the skin. And then I'm just blending it in. I'm 
put our dollars in like that. And what I'm going to have to keep doing is I'm going to have to keep wiping off the paint from the brush because the the rose, the terra rose color keeps mixing in and keeps darkening the white. So over here, I'm picking up some more white with my brush and adding it in. And you can see it's a lot lighter now to lighten it, lighten up the, uh, the area right here. And I'm just using some very uh, broad uh, brush strokes here. Blending it in. And don't be afraid to just blend it in to use your brush. Pick up some more paint. And I really like this, uh, the smoothness, the smoothness of this, um, of this paint. And in case, in case I didn't mention it, this is a water soluble, water soluble oil paint, which behaves very much like regular oil paint, except you can clean, you can clean your brushes with, um, with basically soap and water. And then I'm over here where I just splotched on the plate, the paint like that. I'm gonna like smooth it out, blend it all in right there. I'm smoothing it out as best as I can. And uh, I have one of my other videos that I did where I show how I how I blend in with some of the techniques I use for blending. You can watch that if you're not uh, if you're not too sure how to blend or if you have uh, questions on blending in colors. Okay, and go over here. These are basically the darker shadowed areas right here that I'm doing. trying to get the colors to be as even as possible. And like I say, when you're starting out, keep yourself as simple as possible. Will really, I think that will really help you as a beginning artist. And this tutorial is, in case I didn't mention it, it is for for beginners, uh, if you're like a really advanced painter or you have your own technique or style, I don't think that these videos I'll do will, will be very helpful to you. Uh, the same thing with the books that I, that I wrote. Um, they're just very basic, very basic stuff in there. Uh, don't be intimidated by them at all. It's, uh, it's just basic anatomy, not even that really, it's just figure drawing. Okay, now I'm spreading my my paint over here to the shadow area, so I'm, I wanna blend this in really good right here. Like this, her back, her back area is in shadow, and I apologize for the camera shake, but my brush is, my brush is bumping into the tripod I guess I, I should get a better a better tripod for this much larger one that is uh, better suited for this I really apologize for that but yeah I'm just uh, like I said I'm doing this as fast as I can I'm trying to keep it as basic as I can if I was um, to do like a, a larger scale painting I'd want to be a lot more accurate with the with the actual shading, uh, how all this shading is going to go. And I might even use like different, uh, some more different uh, paint colors in here. But I've been working on her arm right there. Okay, I'm going to, I'm taking off some paint from the brush. Don't forget to keep doing that because if you don't uh, take the brush and then uh, dip it in another color like that without cleaning it off first. Uh, your paint 
is going to get a little bit muddy. You're going to have this real muddy look to your colors. Uh, all the colors will start mixing in and just, um, you just have like a, yeah, it'll start to look a little bit messy. So remember to have um, a little rag handy so that you can keep wiping off the excess paint in the style that I paint. You know, that's what I, what I recommend. So otherwise you will have a, it will get to the point where it looks very muddy, very, uh, not, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. So by you cleaning off the brush like that, you can really control, it's sort of a, a control of how much paint you're letting flow onto here, to the canvas, because um, that is going to determine what your, um, what your final work looks like. And what I, re I really like about this um, canvas paper is that I can really move it around. I, I like that because I can get different angles and it makes painting a lot easier, especially as a beginner. Uh, once you get more established and you start painting on actual canvases, it'll be harder to do that, to move your uh, painting around like that. And, but that's something that you're going to have to learn to control and to work with. Okay, I'm going a little bit darker on the... This area right here is a little bit more shaded. Just like this area right there. Wipe off the brush again. Um, get some more white paint here. And I'm really like using up this white paint a lot. So when you're, when you're painting, you're gonna find that uh, probably the color that you use more than any of the other colors is the it's going to be the white because the white's going to it's really gonna be your basis especially when you're doing the the skin tone because the skin tone is really all about how light you're going the lightness that you're making the paint reflects you okay i'm gonna um, try to finish off this uh, her arm right here going along as fast as I can I don't want this um, video to be to be too long so let's try to move on as fast as we can her arm blend it in try to blend in the the color the white that you have on your brush try to blend it in all the way like I'm doing right here, I'm blending it in all the way into the, to the edge of the paint right there. Okay. I'm going to wipe off the paint again. And I'm going to add some more white right here. God, I wish, I really wish I had more time so that I could uh, do this more uh, perfectly, more accurately, more precisely, but I'm trying to keep this video under a certain time, trying to keep it under a certain time so that I don't go over, and okay, okay, there's a little shaded area right here that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do there, is I'm gonna pick up some of the color here, and I'm gonna add it right here, see what I'm doing? picking up this extra color there and adding it right here. That's so that I don't have to be using too much of this darker color because the darker color is very overpowering. Especially when you're doing a skin tone, you don't want it to be. So I'm using as little paint as possible and I'm using mostly more white at this stage than I am the other color. So I just scoop up a little bit of this color that I've already painted right there, bring it over here to define this uh, shaded area, just like so. Now, wipe off the, the paint again because that 
that color has really mixed into the tip of the brush. Wipe it off and pick up some more white paint. Put it right here in the lighter areas. Go in as fast as I can. Sorry about that shake right there. And I'll try to get it all the way to the edge right there. Working as fast as I can in this constricted space. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, just a little bit more to do right here on her breast area. Now the final painting, she's going to have, um, she's going to be wearing some very skimpy clothing that I'm going to do that on the final, on the final painting. But right now I'm just basically getting her torso done. And then at a later date, I'll go and, and I'll paint her ornament ornaments and her jewelry and all of that but i'm going to do that once this paint dries once the skin tone dries i'm just going to go ahead and paint right over right over on top of it i'll paint all the jewelry and what little clothing areas that she'll be she will be wearing okay like that okay i'm going to do a bit more shadowing down here for this, I'm, now for this shadow, I am going to pick up the actual dark Terra Rosa color. See right there, I'm going to go in there and build up the shadowed area. Bright, just like this. And blend it in. Blend it all in, like just like so. Uh, she has a little bit of shadow. Darkness right here. So I'm, bl I'm blending this right into that skin tone right there. Okay. There we go. And I'm trying to keep the colors all nice and even. Like I said, I'll do her um, her hands at a later time because they you really need to. Pay really close attention to that, to that area. Now, now that I've got all of this basic shadowing done, I'm gonna add a little bit more right here on this part. But as you can see, now, if I was doing this, you know, taking my time and all that, I'd go right in here where you see that white area and all of that. You wanna go in and as close as that and clean that up area but right now I don't have time to do that so I'm just demonstrating this like that and then now I'm going to use my third color which is my my dark brown which is the the burnt umber which is this one right here I'm going to use this and I'm going to use this one very very sparingly and I'm just going to use it on the uh the parts that I want it to be the darkest, like right in here, right underneath her chin, I want that area to be really, really dark. So I'm going in like that. All of this area right here. That is under. Now you gotta be really um, careful on these areas because this is a very tight, very tight area right here. So just take your time and do it as carefully as you can. And when you can move your, your paper like this, it's really, really comes in handy when you can move the paper. Now, if I had, if I wasn't on a time constriction, I'd go in and tighten all this up really, really good. But right now for the demonstration, I'm just, trying to do this as fast as I can. And then right here, I'm gonna add some, some of the dark uh, burnt umber, cause it's part of the darkest part of her shadow on her torso it is probably right here where her arm is. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that there, like that. And 
also a little bit right here on the curve of her back. Drop a little bit right there. Just a little bit blended in. And you don't really need to use, I found that you don't need to use that much of the other of the other colors, like this dark brown color. Only when you want it like really, really show like it's a dark shadow. Like right here. And this is the basic. Okay, as like I said, this is the very basic beginnings of the torso of the female, the female one. That's a side view of her torso, torso. But this is just the, the basics. Thanks for, for watching. I know it's not completely finished. There's a few areas that need to be tightened up. I'll go back and tighten up all these uh, white areas that you see right there and all of that. And then in another later video, I'll do the individual hands, show you how I do that, because doing the hands is very technical. It's very tedious. You have to be very careful on how you do do the hands. The same thing as the face. The face is really a separate area you got to really study. So there's different, um, when you're learning to paint the female figures, different areas that you need to really pay attention to that you really need to study. But... Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.